Welcome to Christianity A to Z. We're looking at E for evangelism today. And the verses I, th- I want us to think about are from Philippians chapter 2 and verse 14. Do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a crooked and depraved generation in which you shine like stars in the universe as you hold out the word of life. In order that I may boast on the day of Christ that I did not run or labour for nothing. Yeah, it's really interesting there, that first challenge, isn't it? Um, And it is quite a challenge that in verse 14 we're supposed to do everything without the grumbling, (laughs) without the complaining. (laughs) Almost impossible, isn't it? That's right. And and this, this huge contrast is drawn, isn't it, in these verses between the way that the the community of God's people live and the way the world lives. So the words used for the world are that they are they're crooked and twisted, a twisted generation. And we're supposed to live like children without blemish. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to be uh, the other image there, you know, in a a dark world, we are lights of the world. Mm. We're lights, uh, uh, you know, holding fast to the word of life. Uh, It's a a huge thing, isn't it? So the first thing, really, the first concern that the Apostle Paul has in this is the way that we live. We have to live the gospel. I mean, in one sense, it, the darker the world gets, the mm. brighter the stars yes. appear. So in one sense, uh, for us to evangelise the world, and mm. if we live like Christ, we're going to shine. That's yes. what he's saying, isn't yeah. it? But then there's two aspects to it in this verse, isn't there? We are to live holy and upright lives in this crooked and depraved generation. But he also says clearly we are to hold out the word of life. That's right. Yeah. So this common and quite popular misconception mm. you hear today, I think Francis of Assisi first conjured it up, that we are to share the gospel at all times and, if necessary, use words, is only really partly right. Of course, we are to live like stars, like lights in this world, but we we must be people who hold out the truth of the gospel. We must be speakers of truth. People people don't become Christians just by osmosis, you know, saying, oh, this is is a nice life. Mm. I mean, that will get their attention, yeah. won't it? If we're going to shine like stars, it will draw, yeah. it's like, you know, like flies are drawn to light, as it were. Um, yeah. It's probably not the best illustration, but it'll get attention. But we have to speak out mm. the truth. Mm. I mean, you can see why Christians want to go down that route. It, you know, everybody likes a nice person, yeah. Yeah. doesn't it? Everyone likes a nice person. But then that just but, brings glory yeah. to me, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And really, according to these verses, if that's as far as you go, your job's only half done. Yeah. And Paul brings that out, doesn't he, when he says that faith in itself comes through hearing and hearing the word of Christ. So you actually cannot become a Christian just by observing someone's good and generous deeds. You must hear. Um, I mean, actually, um, historically, I mean, if you go to communism, uh, you know, at the beginning, uh, the young communists started to help out their neighbours and all of Mm. that. And so uh, if I'm just a good person, which is absolutely right... Mm. People might think, oh, he's a communist or he's a Buddhist or something. Yeah. So, uh, but they need to hear the word of truth. Mm. And the word of truth is that j- there is only one way. Mm. And Jesus, by, what he's, by who he is and what he's done on the cross, is the saviour. Yeah. Muhammad isn't, Buddha isn't, Confucius isn't, mm. secular human isn't. We can't work mm. it out ourselves. Mm. We have to come to the saviour to be saved. Mm. And yeah. that's the message. Mm. That, that we've got to hold out. Yeah. To and despite how offensive that is in our culture, mm. um, the feet of those who bring good news are, are beautiful, and it is wonderful to be able to proclaim that truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>